welcome to Firebase release notes for February, where we cover recent big and small releases from Firebase. Now we have six releases to cover today, so let's dig in right away. There's a new tool for Firestore called the Key Visualizer that helps you visualize the database performance in your project. After you enable the tool in the Cloud Console, you can let it analyze your Firestore usage for a two-hour period, and it then generates a heat map that shows access patterns or performance metrics over that time. This heat map, for example, represents an effective use of Firestore. It shows a fine-grained mix of dark and bright colors, and that means that the reads and writes are evenly distributed throughout your database. But a heat map like this one, with a single bright diagonal line, indicates that the database probably uses sequential keys. And such strictly increasing or decreasing keys are an anti-pattern in Firestore because they can create read or write hotspots. The key visualizer makes it easy to see these patterns in your Firestore usage. So check the link that I included below for more information. As you might know, our libraries for Flutter nowadays come with a pre-built user interface for authentication, giving you the fastest way to add sign-in to your Flutter app. This UI is now available in three additional languages, Portuguese, Italian, and Dutch. This brings the total number of languages to eight. Our Flutter libraries now also set the DSIM format for Crash Linux pod specs, so that you get more readable stack traces in crash reports from your iOS users. Be sure to upgrade to the latest release with the link below. We just released an emergency security update for version 8 of our JavaScript SDK. This release upgrades the node fetch dependency to address security issue CVE 2022-0235. And this is also a good reminder that the V8 SDK is updated only for such emergency security fixes, and it does not benefit from any other updates. So whenever possible, upgrade to the latest V9 version of the SDK by following this upgrade guide. When writing cloud functions in Firebase, you often rely on values that are defined externally to alter how your code executes. Well, you can now configure those values through environment variables that are loaded from .n files. And this means that you can now manage functions configuration, including for the emulators, in files that you can check into source control. In addition, you can store sensitive configuration information, like API keys, in Cloud Secrets Manager. And those values are encrypted and only available to the specific functions that use them. In your code, you can then access all of these values, like any other environment variables that you might have in your process.env. And with these changes, you can now also maintain different configuration files for different environments, like for the dev project versus your production project. The Firebase CLI will switch between them automatically when you start the emulators or run Firebase Deploy. We just added new pages to our documentation that show health metrics for our SDKs. These new graphs show how the binary size of each SDK has changed over time, specifically for the iOS, Android, and JavaScript SDKs. We intend to add the same information for more of our SDKs as well as other helpful metrics. Now, keep in mind that these sizes are not necessarily how much bigger your app will be when you add the Firebase feature, but only show how the SDK size has changed over time. And finally, when you set up your Firebase project to export data from cloud messaging, performance monitoring, or predictions, you can now select a BigQuery region outside of the US, just as you could already do for exported analytics data. Now, this is a long requested feature from our EMEA and other non-US users, as it allows you to meet data residency requirements by analyzing the data in your own region. Those were all the updates we have time for today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. My name is Frank Urpuff, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.